Well, the Sacramento Unified City School District has created a new position to help combat racism. This all comes after a teacher at Kit Carson International Academy allegedly used the N-word during a class and after an assistant principal at West Campus High School was the target of a racist graffiti painted on her parking spot. ABC 10's Jake Kim has the details and the community reaction. Acts of racism at schools in the Sacramento City Unified School District have outraged many students, parents, and community activists who have been demanding change and action within the district to address the ongoing issue for several months. We also think that it's important that we continue to improve how we communicate, how we increase accountability, and how we continue to be more transparent. In a press conference Wednesday morning, SCUSD Superintendent Jorge Aguilar announced the district has now created a new liaison position, which will be fulfilled by social justice attorney Mark Harris, a longtime Sacramento community member who served in a number of public service positions for over 40 years. The goal of Harris's position is to prevent racist incidents from happening in the future and suggesting changes within the district while also providing independent recommendations on investigations. I think it's a great idea to have an independent investigator or monitor to come in. Um, I'm just wondering why it took so long. Laureen Pryor, president and CEO of the Black Youth Leadership Project, says the school district has had a history of acts of racism and should have responded sooner to these incidents. The district also said it will create anti-racism training for staff, add anti-racist and culturally responsible material to its libraries, and extend support services for students of color. With Wednesday's announcement of SCUSD's new liaison, Pryor says she remains cautiously optimistic that things will actually change. What I would like to see is supports put in place for black students. Um, you cannot think that these, race, these racist actions do not have an impact on them. And while many are applauding the district's efforts to create the position, it's also being emphasized that they will not be celebrating until the work is done. Now, we've reached out to the Black Parallel School Board and the NAACP for their reaction, but we have not heard back just yet.